This is Kathleen Wieses from Michigan State University Libraries and in this video I'm going to show you two tools that will be helpful to you. Uh, one is the interface policy map which uh, makes it possible to view the boundaries of metropolitan statistical areas and uh, figure out uh, or city limits or anything else you want and you can also define uh, population that you want to see. The other thing I want to show you is Google Earth, which provides a way to take a measuring tool. You need to figure out how many miles are between the edge of one city limit to another, and I'll uh, show you how to do that in uh, Google Earth. Starting from the uh, finding aid to information about census tract data, we have a tab here for a product called Policy Map. This is a product that MSU Libraries pays for so that uh, MSU students and faculty and staff can use it. And its main purpose is to uh, focus on local areas and make it possible to illustrate the area on various demographic issues with the focus on uh, social issues and quality of life. So we have a lot of demographic data, income, including you know, free and reduced lunches, bankruptcy filings, things that have to do with housing, lending, quality of life, and so forth. Uh, but one thing that it also does, which will be useful to students in Geography 413, is that you can just look at an area and you can ask to see certain boundaries. You could say, I want to see the metropolitan statistical areas from 2013, for instance, and there they are. Um, here under map boundaries you could say you want to see the school district boundaries or the zip code boundaries and it will um, mark them out for you, the county boundaries. Another thing you can do is shade these metropolitan areas by population to find out which ones will qualify for the assignment. Uh, you need an MSA that has a population of a million or more and so I chose population we have the 2013 to 2017, but right now it's shaded by county. I'm going to change that to metropolitan area. And then it puts the numbers into, it shades them uh, in these categories, which we can change. If we click on ranges, I can say I only want two ranges. I want to see MSAs that have a population of under a million, and then uh, MSAs that have a population of over a million and then right away we can zoom out and you can see nationwide which ones will meet that criteria. Google Earth is uh, free software. It needs to be downloaded and installed. You can download it at earth.google.com and it's, it has some similarities to Google Maps but it also has additional functionality. And uh, it comes with a whole bunch of things that you can already already built in, a lot of features you can build in, but what we need to see are the edges of the city limits. And so in order to do that, we need to go to a website that will allow us to download the city boundaries um, that will display in Google Earth. And we can just Google, where well, I'm just using Detroit as an example, this might be more difficult for other states of the United States. Michigan does make it very easy. We can search for data. Um, I believe they're called minor civil divisions. And we can open it and then you can download. Uh, you could do a shape file if you're into GIS. You could instead download a KML file. And then um, once it's downloaded, you can go into Google Earth and um, if you just double click on the file that you downloaded it will automatically install in Google Earth and there's all of our city limits wants to be at a creative angle here which is not super useful for us let's zero in on Detroit It's displaying some information that we don't want, these 360 views and things. We can turn those off over here. I 
and gets rid of some of this stuff. And so say you needed to measure the distance between Troy and Detroit. And so the edge, the southern edge of Troy is here, the northern edge of Detroit is here. If I click in Troy, then attribute information that came with this file pops up. It, you're not sure where you are. It tells you you are in the city of Troy and you want to click here and you see ah, I'm in the city of Detroit. So there is a ruler tool right here. It comes up with this little window here. We'll click on the southern boundary of Troy and drag it down to the northern boundary of Detroit. And our window tells us 6.03 miles. I think you can safely uh, round that down to six mile distance between the two cities. And so this is one way I've discovered that you can measure the distances. I hope you find this useful.